All right, guys, we are at Walmart right now, and I have a few minutes, so I wanted to come over here and check out these inflatables because I haven't looked at the Walmart Halloween stuff yet. Of course, there's lots and lots of other Halloween stuff here, including, look at this, Halloween pajamas. How cool is that? That looks like a mummy. But what I really wanna see are these inflatables. Now, there's a couple of them up here. This is not all they have. I did notice some in boxes right here, and then there's some more in the other aisle over there. And a lot of times there's even more back in the garden center, so we're gonna check it out. Let's start with these right here. The first one is this one, LOL Supply. Prize. It's called Sleepy Bones. What in the world? Apparently, it's an LOL doll who's dressed up like a skeleton. Oh my gosh, look, she has pink bunny slippers. Holy crap, that's awesome. Then we got this one here. It's a Hello Kitty dressed up like a pink witch. Well, how tall is that? It doesn't even, oh, three and a half feet, and it's 28.88. If you're a Hello Kitty lover, that is not a bad deal. We got Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Keep singing! And look at this, we have Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. Look, her sign says, Unhappy Halloween, what the heck? And then we have a minion here. It's a minion, I, I, what the heck is he dressed up as? <laughs> I would much rather he be dressed up like that as the inflatable. But I can't tell if that's supposed to be like a witch or a half witch, half Dracula. One thing I do know though is that he read the map wrong with his one eye! Oh my gosh guys, these things are heavy too. My wrist is like killing me just from picking these up. But look at this, holy crap, it's a Coco inflatable, yes! He's wearing a red hoodie with a skull on it, that is awesome. And then we have Melissa, uh, I can't even say it, Maleficent with a trick or treat, trick, no treat sign okay we have a mini mouse all right i like the design on that skirt and on her bow and we have a mickey mouse with a matching vest that's pretty cool he's kind of dressed like dracula sort of kind of he has the fangs but i like that vest and i think that's it for this section let's go around the corner here and see what else they have over here they have these things which are made of wires they're not inflatables I don't know. I mean, they look cool. Here's a Halloween skeleton bat and a Grim Reaper and a skeleton uni uh, unicorn. I almost said uniform. I think I did that last year too. But I don't know. They're, they're made of wire. I don't really care for those too much. Here is a Halloween spooky ghost though. I think it just hangs and lights up. I don't think it makes any sounds or anything. But I did also notice this one and the one behind it animated hanging pumpkin and an animated hanging doll sound activated with posable arms arms move up and down while the eyes flash so these are kind of like those old ghosts um i don't even know what they're called they're just like hanging ghosts and if you watch joe bean videos he just talked about those old ones in this long video he just did about animatronics. They're actually pretty cool. Like you hang it from a tree or the ceiling or whatever, and I think it uses three little animation machines or whatever you wanna call it. Um, this one doesn't look like it uses three, but however, the head goes up and down and the arms go up and down, uh, like alternating. So it almost looks like it's a flying ghost or a flying pumpkin with a chain of death. So let's look at this for a second, just because it's right here. This is a Master's Collection premium scoop to scoop out the guts of a pumpkin when you're carving it. I actually just bought two of these, but they're not metal, they're plastic. I haven't tried them yet, but I'll bet you anything the plastic ones break easy. All right, wait a minute. We're getting over there to the other inflatables, guys, but I just saw these inflatable costumes. So they sort of fit the bill for today. Inflatable, inflatable Velociraptor, an inflatable T-Rex. That's the one you see everybody running around on the internet with. Here's another one. This must be, maybe it's just a smaller one or something. I don't know. Beta? Hmm. Okay, then we have a Minecraft, another Minecraft, a Creeper, and an Enderman. Whoa, crap. <laughs> I guess he tried to end my life. Anyways, then we have Among Us over here. These actually look pretty cool. And here are the other uh, inflatables that I was talking about. Did I just accidentally call them animatronics a minute ago? I don't know. I know I called some animatronics in Spirit the other day inflatables, but anyways... Let's start with this one here, the Enter If You Dare Archway. 
That is pretty cool. How tall is that thing? Nine feet tall archway. That's $99. That's not a bad price for that. Light Show Phantasm Pumpkin Reaper. That guy's pretty cool. Let's see, we got a witch over the moon. What the heck? That's seven and a half feet tall. Then we got a pumpkin patch. You gotta love the pumpkin patch. Eight feet wide. A wicked pumpkin creeper. Look at that guy. Dang, he's pretty spooky. He's six feet tall, so he would pretty much tower over anybody. Then we got smaller ones down here. A four and a half foot tall witch holding a sign. Cast a spell. That's pretty cool. That's more like the uh, the classic Halloween look. As well as this one here. A ghosty and a pumpkin five feet tall. Those are cool. We got another ghost with three pumpkins here, a pumpkin stack. Then we got the floating ghost here. He's seven feet tall. Here's a nine foot tall spooky tree. Holy crap. Tree with pumpkin boy and ghost. Look at this. There's a pumpkin boy right there, a spooky tree, a little candy corn sitting on the branch, and a little waving ghost. I love this nine feet tall oh my gosh i don't know if i can resist it i love it so much all right then we have a pumpkin witch happy halloween that one's only 1888 then we have the typical pumpkin stack we have a bigger pumpkin three and a half feet tall look at this little ghost back here with a witch hat i like the candy corns and pumpkins on that hat then we got a scary scary j-o-l what the heck is that supposed to mean scary jaw hmm I don't know. Anyways, he's three feet wide, and he is a spooky pumpkin inflatable. Then we have another spooky ghost here, if I can get it out. A spooky ghost holding a pumpkin. I love that. I don't know what this jaw thing is. Cat in jaw. Somebody explain that to me, because I don't know. I'm not hip to that. We got a three and a half foot cat coming out of a pumpkin. Day of the Dead Dog. Is it Day of the Dead Dog or Day of the Dead Dog? Hmm. He looks alive to me. Anyways, look at this one back here that was hiding. The rainbow dog. It's a dachshund that's dressed up like a rainbow witch. And then we got another one down here, a happy Halloween J-O-L sign. Yeah, somebody's got to explain that to me unless I'm just totally missing it. I don't know what that means. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween bat. That guy's pretty cute. Look at this. We got a, is this a T-Rex? Yeah. Light up Halloween dinosaur. It is a T Rex, three and a half feet tall. And then we have a winged dragon, a Harry Potter, what Lord Voldemort. Look, there's a snake around his neck. That is actually pretty cool. Four and a half feet tall. That's 35 bucks. That's pretty cool. And look at this one hiding back here. Maybe somebody hid it so they could come back and buy it. It's an inflatable Chucky. He's five feet tall, 35 bucks. That is pretty cool. Look, his, that's not his hand. What the heck is that? It's something that just says, wanna play. We got a Jack Skellington down here holding a mini Oogie Boogie like it's his pet. That is pretty funny. Like, what sense does that make? Because Oogie Boogie is enormous. Oh yeah, then we got a zero here sitting on top a pumpkin and he has his own little pumpkin nose. Here we go, enormous Oogie Boogie. Well, maybe he's not enormous. He is five feet tall though. And he has a sign that says Happy Halloween. That is cool. And look at this, I've never seen this one before. A Pumpkin King, hold on, I'm getting it. Just hold on, there we go. Five foot tall Pumpkin King. How cool is that? He's holding a skull. Wait, there's another one hiding back here. It's a Ghostbusters Slimer on a pumpkin. That's pretty cool too. He's five feet tall. And they got one more that we haven't looked at yet. The ghost with a pumpkin stack. Did we see that one? Oh yeah, we saw it up here. Okay, I guess we did see you, mister. You're going back. These must have some serious fans with them too because they are so heavy. Like my wrist feels like I've been lifting weights for an hour or I'm just a wimp. Mm -hmm.